Right now, those two trotters, Cobol and Diamond Goal, are at the post for the championship dash of the World Trotting Derby, and the gate is rolling. Strategy in a two-horse race, much different. That's what's going through their minds right now as Lachance on the inside, Ledford on the outside. Move forward. Here they come. They're off and trotting. Cobol will lead and quickly dropping in will be Diamond Goal as that field of two moves around the lower turn trotting toward the quarter mile mark. So Cobol will call the shots on this one. Lachance on top. He'll be able to control the pace of this one, and behind him, Ledford, hoping for a little quicker fractions probably with Diamond Goal, will bide time patiently as they move very carefully through the lower turn, trotting lazily toward the quarter-mile mark. And if it's this way, all the way to the top of the stretch, you will see a mad dash for the cash when they turn for home. It'll all hang out, and they will really move down the stretch. Right now, they're past the quarter in a leisurely 32-2, and two, easing down the back stretch with Cobol, the Pine Chip Colt from Active Grace on top by a length and a half behind him. Waiting very patiently as Diamond Goal Ledford bides time. And he realizes that if Cobol gets to the top of the lane too slowly, it will be very difficult to catch him if he spots him much more than he has spotted him right now. So those are the situations developing as they race past the half. Cobol eases past that mark. He is there. And 104 two fifths into the upper turn. Still no pressure applied by Diamond Goal as they race toward the three-quarter. Around the upper turn, they're being led by Cobol, winner of the second heat of the World Trotting Derby. Diamond Gold, who won the fastest in 53-1. and one. National season's mark in the first is right there as they are midway through the upper turn, trotting now toward three-quarters, and Cobol has about a length and three-quarter advantage. As they reach that station, he's trotting just a little bit quicker right now as they're at the top of the lane. Cobol, 134-2, and two, heads them into the stretch, and now they'll trot quicker because here comes Diamond Gold. He's to the outside right now, and the battle develops on the inside. Cobol, here comes Diamond Goal on the outside, and he's gaining ground. Cobol on the inside, the chance asking for more. On the outside is Diamond Goal. They fight head and head, stride for stride. Either horse to the wire, Diamond Goal, maybe. Oh, he's made a break. Off stride, off stride. Diamond Goal had it in his grasp, and he made a break. It goes to Cobol. Diamond Goal had victory within his reach, and he made a break. It will go to Cobol, judge's decision in a moment. Bill Peretti and Ab Levesque, trained by Per Erickson into victory lane, Cobol. We're not unable to get a word with winning driver Mike Lachance. He's on his way to Toronto, but we do have the leading trainer in the history of this event. He now has won five races. Per Erickson, congratulations, and tell us about Cobol. Thank you very much. Uh, Cobol has been uh, showing a lot of talent from uh, day one. My best friend, Jimmy, had him last year, and uh, we wanted the horse to be trained in Florida. He stays up, so he wanted me to train him down there. <coughs> And he'd been showing strength all along. Last year he was big and rugged and needed a little time to green to himself. And uh, he really green to himself now. He's, come, he's racing the way he's supposed to do right now. And he's probably going to get better end of the year here. Were you surprised when he was on the front end and that strong down the lane in that uh, second heat after being sixth in the first? Uh, I was a little worried uh, the first trip. He opened up, uh, had an open bridle. He got a little too uh, comfortable. Put a close bridle to him to the second heat. And that's way, way... We like him to race. Okay, we'll let you do the picture and then we'll get back to you. Okay, one more word with Pear before he gets away, then we'll talk to Jim Wheeler. Pear, we understand that you and Mrs. Erickson and the family are going back to Sweden. 
Yeah, it's a family decision you have to make. I have four young kids and uh, the lifestyle for me moving back from Florida and the uh, north uh, taking a toll on us a little bit and we want to grow up, uh, have the kid to grow up in the way in the same home year round, so that's a decision we have to make. We'll miss you. Come back and see us. Five wins in the World Trotting Derby. Congratulations. Now let's catch Jim Wheeler. Last year, Jim, I believe you were probably the leading buyer of yearlings at the sales by uh, volume. And today you've been rewarded, not from one of those last year, but from, from one the year before. How does it feel to be a winner of the World Trotting Derby? Fantastic. Do you have any two-year-olds to follow this one for next year? I think we have three or four uh, two-year-olds that can follow this one. Do you plan to uh, make the yearling sales like you did last year, Jim? I, I will be there and uh, be present, but uh, I probably won't buy as many as I bought last year because I've, I've got a lot of two-year-olds I'm going to carry over. That's Jim Wheeler, co-owner of the uh, World Trotting Derby winning trotter, and congratulations to you and the other owners.